Let's talk about the gambler's fallacy and how you can avoid it or overcome it when it finds its way into your mind and your thoughts and your actions and your problem solving and your treasure hunting as well. Now, I am not a gambler, but I have spent quite a bit of time in casinos because that's where convention halls are. And as a keynote speaker, a person who's gone and spoken uh, in a lot of places over the years, I have wandered through no small number of casinos. And I've had a chance to interact with people who are intrigued by the slot machines and different parts of the experience. And it's fascinating. One particular thing is fascinating. I'm using this to kind of introduce gamblers fallacy and then I'll get into the strategy so stay with me but it's fascinating you'll find someone sitting at a slot machine and they've maybe been there for an hour or two hours and they have their drinks and their food and everything ready they're not going to leave that seat because they have this thought that I've been at this machine for an hour or two hours and I am bound to win on this next one just one more try one more try this next one my chances are better than they were before but statistically speaking it's not really true and that is often the case that we find ourselves in when we're trying to solve problems in the workplace if you are on a literal or metaphorical treasure hunt in some way that sometimes we get caught up into this gambler's fallacy where we think that simply having tried a number of things means that our chance of success the next time is greater and it it's not accurate it can be a, a fallacy that can lead you down the wrong track or worse it can lead you to putting in less of the effort and the thinking needed. So you just kind of start doing these random attempts, thinking that uh, a thousand random attempts will increase your chance of success, when in most situations, that's not the case. There actually are some situations where trying the same thing over and over and over and over again might actually increase your likelihood. But in, in many, especially when we're dealing with things that require uh, seeking truth and problem solving and uh, finding a literal or metaphorical treasure, it doesn't quite work that way. So you're caught in the gambler's fallacy if you find yourself saying that I've searched so many places, I must be close this time, just because, just because you've searched so many places.